Fallen is one of the most talented players in Counter-Strike history. He is known for his skills with the AWP and his ability to IGL at the same time. He's pretty much single-handedly responsible for bringing Brazil to the big times in Counter-Strike Global Offensive and has countless tournament victories under his belt. Today we're going to take a look at his settings and maybe, just maybe, some of his greatness will rub off on us. Hello everybody, it's time for another Pro Guides video. My name is Boggs and I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Today's video is a real treat. We're going to be taking a look at Fallen settings in-game. Now we've mentioned this before, but it's something I'd like to remind everyone. Copying a pro player's settings will not make you instantly better at the game, but it's important to understand why pros choose certain settings over others so that you can take what works for you and not bother with things that don't. With this in mind, let's jump right in and maybe some of Fallen's skills will transfer. We're going to start today with monitor and resolution settings, but there's something I need to point out regarding pro peripherals. Most of the time, pro players are only allowed to use equipment that is made by brands that are sponsoring their organization. For example, Team Liquid is sponsored by Alienware and HyperX, so usually Team Liquid players will be using equipment from these two brands. I bring this up because I want to point out that just because a pro uses a certain keyboard or mouse, this does not make them the quote, best one on the market. Now don't get me wrong, these top brands make very good equipment and I'm not trying to pick a fight with HyperX or Alienware. Just because I personally prefer Zowie for mice doesn't mean that HyperX just isn't as high a quality. But I just want to clarify that pros don't always have a choice in whatever peripherals they want. With that out of the way, Fallen uses a BenQ XL2546 monitor. This monitor is 240Hz, which is pretty standard for pro players these days. This means that the monitor refreshes 240 times a second. Because your screen updates more often, you will be able to see enemies on your screen before they see you if your refresh rate is higher. We all know an advantage like that is something we could all benefit from in game. This is also something we recommended when making an upgrade to your setup. A higher refresh rate on your monitor goes a long way, and now thankfully 120 and 144 Hz monitors aren't as expensive as they used to be. Fallen uses the 4x3 stretched aspect ratio with a resolution of 1024 by 768 Now like with most pros, they generally opt for 4x3 stretched because that's what was used in older versions of Counter-Strike. Fallen uses the stretched aspect ratio, so it covers his entire screen as opposed to black bars. Some players will still use the black bars because they feel it helps them focus more on the center of the screen, while others prefer the stretch because it makes enemy targets appear larger than they actually are. Now when it comes to aspect ratio, it's usually up in the air for which is superior, but if you like more information on that, we've already covered that in a separate video, which can be found in the description and on the card on your screen right now. Another thing I have to mention is that Fallen, along with a lot of the other pro players, will play with low settings on their shaders and texture detail. That's usually because computers at LANs have been known to have problems, so to ensure that the game doesn't stutter, they will sacrifice beauty for a consistent performing game. If you'd like Fallen himself to go in more in depth on his in-game settings, setup, and gear though, as well as why he does the things he does, don't forget to check out his course over on our website ProGuides.com. Not only does he talk about settings, but also its main focus in-game leading, and how to approach the game like a pro. It's a really informative watch and a great resource for anyone trying to learn the game. Alright, before we continue, it's time for the question of the day. Today's question being, who was the most influential Counter-Strike player to you? Mine would have to be Fallen. As stated at the beginning of the video, Fallen is responsible for practically bringing Brazil to the Counter-Strike mainstream, and he has played a major role in promoting and teaching younger talent. But for you, it could be anyone. Pro players, YouTubers, streamers, or even in Fallen's case, his older brother, who fought to let him play and even introduced him to Counter-Strike as a whole. Let us know who your biggest influence in Counter-Strike is in the comment section below, and why they are so influential to you. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Alright, we're back onto mouse and sensitivity settings. Fallen uses a Zowie EC1A, which is a wired mouse that weighs 97 grams, just slightly below the 100 gram threshold that most gamers tend to prefer. Fallen's mouse DPI is 400, while his in-game sensitivity is 2.2 and a zoom sensitivity of 1. This gives him an eDPI of 880. eDPI is a universal way to talk to others about your sensitivity in-game. It's calculated by multiplying your mouse DPI by your in-game sensitivity. In this case, the DPI doesn't matter that much. As long as your in-game sensitivity feels good to you, it should be fine. For reference, most pros tend to use 400 DPI just because that was the standard back during the 1.6 days. Now about Fallen sensitivity. It's a very average sensitivity. It's not on the extremely high end like, say, Wok's insane 2400 DPI, but Fallen's lower sensitivity makes more sense. When you begin to think about how much of a tactical genius he is, he always knows where his enemies are coming from, so there's no need for that high of a sensitivity. He's already lined up his shot and calculated where his foes are going to be. And again, if you want to achieve the same thing a lot faster, don't forget to check out his Pro Guide scores over on our website. 
Fallen, along with a lot of the other pro players, will play with low settings on their shaders and texture detail. Basically, to sum it up, everything is on the lowest possible setting or turned off other than a little bit of anti-aliasing to help give him a little more crisp image while he's playing at the lower resolution. The other thing he leaves on is the extremely useful boost player contrast setting, which helps you pick out players at long distances. Now I did a little research about this because my initial thought, and yours too, might be that this is just for nostalgia's sake. Hey, 1.6 looked like, well... This is a flashback and even Counter-Strike Source looked like this. Another flashback. So yeah, I thought that maybe pros just tend to feel more at ease when their games look like it, but I found out this was not the case. The pros usually play with these extremely low settings because computers at LAN aren't always the best. So to ensure that the game runs as smoothly as possible and won't hiccup during that clutch, they will sacrifice beauty for a consistent looking game. What a noble sacrifice. Now before you start tuning all your settings down low like a mindless zombie, you may want to check out our ultimate settings guide so you can find out what the best settings for you will be. Moving on to Fallen's crosshair, it's just a green crosshair. Fallen has stated that he prefers to keep a lot of his settings consistent so he can stay focused on his performance instead of blaming his settings for any shortcomings. This standard static green crosshair is a no-brainer for Fallen who wants to keep something consistent no matter where he's at. Now Fallen has got a lot of special useful keybinds. The first one I want to talk about is the clear decals button. Now we've all been in a situation where an enemy was difficult to see or appeared to blend in due to the blood on the wall or the bullet holes and we've ultimately lost the round because we couldn't see the enemy clearly. Fallen is no different. He has a special bind on his mouse that when pressed clears blood and bullet holes from the map. Bind, key, R underscore, clear decals. Here's the magic key that may help save your life one day and you can thank me by leaving a like on this video. Another thing Fallen has is a standard grenade lineup crosshair on his mouse. Now I would show you the command for this, but it can vary from crosshair to crosshair. If you are using the standard plus sign crosshair, you will probably just bind it to increase your CL underscore crosshair size, but once again, it's crosshair dependent. So if you have a dot or a square, you may have to do a bit of tweaking to get it just right. The next thing I want to talk about is his jumping. Fallen jumps from the scroll wheel on his mouse, which is pretty standard for Counter-Strike pros. But the one thing he has stated is that he jumps with scroll wheel up instead of scroll wheel down. He, along with countless others, I'm sure, has had instances where the scroll wheel on certain mice will cause him to jump at random times. To alleviate this problem, he has swapped it from down jump to up jump, so he only jumps at very deliberate times. Keep in mind that all of the settings I just talked about are on Fallen's mouse. And now we are going to move on to the keyboard. This next thing is grenade binds. Now these are something that Fallen has stated he does not use, but things are extremely useful and went in depth a little bit more in our pro guides course on the topic. He has considered using them himself in the future if he has the time to develop the muscle memory. Now once again he doesn't use them personally, but he does think that they are extremely viable, so I'm going to talk about them. You can bind certain grenades to the unused keys in your keyboard using the in-game settings menu, or you can use the console like a cool kid. Console command is bind key slot 6. These can be used on slots 6 through 10. Two things you will have to get used to, however, and is extremely recommended, is that F and G are rebound to other locations, and the in-game voice commands should be disabled for maximum key usage. I still remember to this day one of the first things Warhol taught me when I first started playing the game. F is for flashbang. This is a bonus setting from one of our coaches over at ProGuides.com. You can change the hand you hold the gun in by using the command bind key toggle CL underscore right hand zero space one. That creates a toggle so that you can swap your hands and play with that instead of swapping weapons like how all of us Counter-Strike players do. And if you just want to do a permanent swap, CL underscore right hand zero. Now something else I want to talk to you guys about is the placebo effect. The placebo effect is when someone thinks something is helping them or doing something even though it's actually not, and it's just all in their head. I bring this up because this is something that gets brought up a lot when it comes to in-game settings. Sometimes certain players will claim that turning on one setting or using one crosshair made them play better, but they won't actually affect your performance. While some settings may feel more comfortable or seemingly made you play better, that's usually not the case. It's important to keep in mind when copying a pro player's settings. It does not allow you to take a shortcut or instantly make you better at the game. Time still needs to be put in on training your aim and crosshair placement, not to mention your communication and fundamentals. If you are currently struggling, blaming your settings is usually not the answer. Consider trying a session with one of our expert coaches at ProGuides.com so they can help you identify any issues you are having and help you improve. 
they'll be sure to walk you through one of your games and show you what you're actually doing wrong while also introducing some ways you can fix those problems. Now that you've seen the settings that Fallen likes to use, play around with your own and see if you might want to make some adjustments. If this video helps you find more comfortable settings or if you learned something new that you didn't know before, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all of the new content from our ProGuides team. If you want to take your game to the next level, then feel free to head on over to ProGuides.com. You'll have the ability to work with our expert coaches and get specialized, personalized experience from them to help you improve. Even if you want to just brush up on some basics, we have a handful of courses available for you. I wish you all the best of luck in your next matches, and I'll see you guys very soon for some more Counter-Strike content. Have a great one!